I'm gonna make a quick video while I make some cookies. <laughs> I'm gonna make cookies. Can you imagine, I am so angry right now. This Pineapple Express is testing so high and is so good. That's when I made that dancing video, but I took that one down just because it was kind of stupid. I could, I could do a better one to something like I'm so fancy and maybe I'll do that. Anyway, even after all this, I'm so angry and I've been tweeting things. I want to tell a quick story. I said to Terry Grimes once, and the LGBT all know who Terry Grimes is, and, the, and a lot of people know who he is. He used to own Liquid Level, whatever, next to Mary's. And you know something? I never had a problem with Terry. He supplied me with dime bags when I was a pain in the ass coming every day for him. And until I got whatever it was that Justin gave me, I never had a problem really with Terry. You know what I said to Terry once? I said, you know, Terry, I said there are drug dealers, street criminals, whatever. And then there are criminals that act like they're not criminals and are grand. I said, and those are the ones I can't stand, like politicians that are criminals but they act grand, like they would never be, those are the ones I, I would delight in sending to prison. And Terry knows that. Terry absolutely knows that. Anyway, um, that's how I look at my Heights family vis-a-vis -vis the Fordhams. So the Heights family for five years has pointed the fingers directly at the Fordhams for my problems. Well, they got four pointing back at them. I have a lot of hostility toward my sick, lying, filthy cousin, Lisa Pittard, and so did my dad. And that's because she's a liar. For example, she was sucking money out of my dad when I was in high school, paying her rent with my Quad City Times money after my mother threw me out after she moved a man into the house after she threw my dad out. I'm sure you're all wondering, why did you buy that house? Why are you in that house? Honestly, Th this house is not the issue. The issue is my sick, whack job, cuckoo, Edgewood Baptist Church, ly lying, <clears throat> immoral, hateful, organized crime. Wa the entire Watch Hill is, in my opinion, FBI, DOJ, is full of sick, filthy gangsters who exploit others to get rich. I yeah, that's how I feel about all of Watch Hill, pretty much. I mean, uh, not everybody, but... A lot of sick, filthy, immoral gangsters up there that run around town. Zippity doo da, zippity! -ay. That's what we got going on here in sick, filthy Rock Island, Illinois, home of John Looney. It's all, it's all a big sick, filthy charade. And so, anyway, I've only done the um, brownie scout concentrate once and then I slept for several hours so I'll do that and I'll sleep for several hours again but I'm angry and I'm going to get out what I have to say because I have every right to be angry and I'm speaking on behalf of a lot of people who are dead no doubt over this sick filthy corrupt town um, I've added pieces up uh, I mean I know vindication's coming or I wouldn't be brave enough I to, to make the videos. I'm glad I was brave enough to get this far. People said, you're so brave. Yeah, I was brave, but I felt like they were going to kill me anyway. It's like when Hunter Collins came up, he said, for you to be brave enough to be, you know, blogging and making these videos, he said, do you feel like Jerry, Sherry are going to have you murdered anyway? I said, well, absolutely I do. I said, that's why I'm making the videos. And, um, and then he tried to convince me to sell my house for 70000 So I'm glad I haven't listened to a goddamn single person but myself because the whole community is sick, filthy liars. There's a lot of good people in it. That's why I'm still standing. <clears throat> and I'm grateful to all of you. So when I speak this way, hopefully you know I'm not talking about you. And people that say, well, stop talking about that makes Brock Island look bad. Good. I hope half the goddamn town goes to prison and I hope it's a federal takeover. I hope I'm sitting somewhere nice, comfortable, sunny, and warm year-round when it happens. Have a good day.